Hey Virgo, Victoria here. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, hi, hello, it's nice to meet you. Um, today, you already know the drill, Virgo. We're going to look into the energies surrounding you this April or mid-April. Sorry for the wait. I'm here now. Readings are open again. You can DM me on Twitter at VXPrada or you can shoot me an email and I will be happy to deliver your personal messages. So let's get into the energy because I asked you guys on Twitter what was going around. I mean, we know what's going around, but we're trying to know what's going on for Virgo. Um, the main message that I get for you guys right off the bat, uh, you know, channeling the, the collective's energy, I can definitely tell you that it's time to be relaxed. It's time to um, become aware of the, the, the little things that, that get under your skin, Virgo. It's, it's a time of really pinpointing where your anxiety or where the added pressure is coming in from. Really understand the source of the issue and ways that you can tackle it in a stress-reduced manner. Ways for you to tackle it in a way that doesn't add on even more chores or even more tasks or even more people uh, involved. Like sometimes you tend to just add on to what you already have planned and it just keeps making things bigger and bigger and bigger. And then once things are really big, you just get overwhelmed and you freak out. So what I'm getting for Virgo is that this is a time for you to not stress. This is a time for you to understand why it is that certain, certain, certain situations or even emotions or situations, dynamic people, why did they stress you out the way they do? It's about looking within and understanding like the root of the issue. Okay? Do we have an understanding? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. It's time to slow down. And I think you are beginning to already gravitate towards living a, a, a healthier life. And the first thing that you think about when you think of health, like for me anyway, it's not having any worries. It's, it's being on vacation mode. It's tapping out, tapping out. The death card here lets me know that you've been tapping out. <laughs> you tapped out. And you just want to be surrounded by peace and harmony. Like you just want things to be peaceful and happy and positive. Like you really want your environment to bring out a sense of comfort and happiness and abundance. Because you're very sensitive to your surroundings, Virgo. You're very sensitive to the, the, the way someone spoke to you, the way someone may be looking at you, or the way someone may be perceiving you. That's, that's what's most important to you. Don't let yourself rush to conclusions. Beware of being quick to, quick to talk. Sometimes you have to just zip it. Sometimes you have to read the fine print. Sometimes you have to read between the lines. Sometimes you have to do a bit more investigation before blindly jumping into something, whether it is a situation, uh, whether it's a relationship, a job, it's important for you not to bite off more than you can chew. You are very ambitious, Virgo, and you are compelled to you are compelled to come through with this helping this helping attitude. It's as though you want to make sure everything around you is in place, everyone around you is happy, everyone around you sees you in a positive manner. You want to make sure that everything is in order. You just have to make sure that you are actually being diligent when trying to attain this goal because the issue with Virgo is always seeking perfection and not 
either not knowing how to attain the perfection or simply not applying themselves enough in order to attain the, per the perfection. And because perfection doesn't exist, you will continue to put something off and you will continue to procrastinate because you have no idea what to do with yourself. Slow down your role this April, Virgo. It's not about how much you are able to, to do during quarantine. It's not about that. It's about actually establishing balance and harmony, not only within yourself, but within your family, within your personal space, like your, within your immediate surroundings. That's what you need harmony and balance for. And, and you know, things are going to have to die. Things are going to have to change and transform in order for things to get better because you're looking at the situation right now, Virgo, and you're like, nah, -uh. This needs to go, this needs to be replaced, this needs to be changed, this needs to be modified, and this is how we're going to do it. And I'm seeing that you're going to have the, the energy and the enthusiasm to do so. Rising themes. Oh, another thing, Virgo, don't be so quick to destruct. Don't be so quick to start over. Because... You have to know when it's an appropriate time to go down this path. You have to know when it's an appropriate time to, you know, close the business, shut it all down, and recenter yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you need, you know what to do. And I don't want you to do anything stupid. And I don't want you to do anything out of, you know, stress or... Just being misinformed. That's another thing, Virgo. I think that you have actually a lot of support around you and you may be putting a lot of pressure on yourself to get everything done and to be independent. This this could be in terms of finances. You may try to be, you know, yeah, you know, you're just, you're, you're trying to cut people off maybe and, and put an end to, to, to the, any type of stress that you're feeling. But I think you're forgetting the fact that the issue at hand here is you are not really applying yourself or you're not really getting to the, you're not being proactive about what's really going around, what's really going on. I keep saying what's going around. We know what's going around. All right. Let's get more information. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Yeah. All right, so we got the so we have the 3 of wands, we got the 10 of wands, and then we got the queen of cups in reverse, all right? So it's it's really clear to me that you are not trying to acknowledge your sensitive nature, you're not trying to acknowledge your um your emotional nature and you're trying to kind of be cold and just close yourself off because you're trying to keep this narrative going that you are unbothered, that you have it all together, that you aren't feeling stressed and anxious, that you aren't feeling worried. You're trying to preserve all that energy and act as though you got it all handled. And I do see that you do have it handled. I think that things were feeling a bit messy and, and, and all over the place for a bit of time, but I think that now you are getting back on track and and knowing the necessary steps you need to take in order to fix whatever mess is has gone on um but i do see that this this process will take time like nothing is going to be able to be done overnight and because of that you need to be patient with yourself and you also have to Kind of open up your heart more to the love and the support that is pouring in. Um, it may not be coming in from the places that you you want it to come in. Um, for instance, this here could be a, a motherly figure or it could also be a just another feminine in your life. But that person could be causing you stress or that person could be causing distance between uh, between you and them. So, like I said, you could be dealing with with um, dealing with this this Queen of Cups, or this could also be, you know, like a mother or a grandmother figure. So, um, don't forget about negative Nancy here. Forget about that. Continue to apply yourself because things were not organized before. You were 
You were not, you were procrastinating. You were not meeting deadlines. You were not making yourself proud. You were not living up to your full potential, Virgo. And that's facts. And that could definitely cause anxiety and also delays, um, again, when it comes to work, when it comes to opening up for a new relationship, when it comes to your current relationship, all things of the sort. And I'm seeing that you may have missed opportunities or um, or at least felt as though you, you were missing out because you weren't really living your authentic self, your authentic life. You were kind of holding back because you were feeling bad. You were holding back because you were feeling bad. You were holding back because you did not feel like you were worthy enough to get whatever it is that you were dreaming of and trying to attain. It's out there in the horizon. You're just not taking the step forward to go ahead and pursue it. And I'm seeing that this April, if you are trying to pursue something, to correct something or start something new, it's important and crucial that you have all your facts together straight before you go ahead and you take on this leap, before you think out the box, before you um, deal with um, with institutions, before you deal with paperwork, maybe it's legal documents, things of the sort. Like you need to read everything and make sure your information is correct, okay? That's 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 first and foremost. There's no rushing in April. Don't let the Aries vibe feel you like, make you feel as though you gotta be impulsive and you gotta act quick and you gotta, no, no. Channel that energy towards fixing your shit, getting your shit together, Virgo. Okay, okay, now we're going to look into love. We're going to look into love. Um, what does April look like in terms of love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Let's see. All right. I knew it. Hanged man. You're not ready to make a move right now, Virgo. You're not ready to make a decision right now. I, I honestly feel as though you are so overwhelmed that it's to the point that you have to inevitably chill. You know what I mean? There's only so much stress the human brain can even take on, process, acknowledge, and all of that stuff. There's only so much that it can that it can that it can undertake before it just goes into lockdown. Uh, sleep mode, um, just, you know, there's only so much you, that, that that one person can handle stress-wise uh, before you just kind of, like I said, you just tap out. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing right now that you're chilling, and I hope you're not feeling guilty about it. I hope you're not feeling guilty about the fact that, that you need time to make a decision if you're going to stay, if you're going to go, if you're committed, if you're not going to be committed, like, you know, is it worth pursuing, things of the sort. Like, it's okay that you have, that things are up in the air right now. That shouldn't be an issue for you, Virgo. You should be worried about yourself and just getting back on track. Again, I'm seeing mention of distance. You could be in a long-distance relationship. You could be, um, you know quarantined right now like your place could be during like in lockdown your city that you're in it probably is but anyways you could be unable to see the person that you love because they're far away or at least like you know there's if you can't really get to them because of the current global situation going on okay so give yourself time okay and don't be so hard on yourself don't suck the fun and the love and the romance and the passion out of your love life just because you can't get what you want just now or just because you're just not having fun point blank period like you're just dead ass not having fun and you just want to have fun again you just want to be carefree you can still choose to be carefree virgo it's not about outside being open or not it's not about you living up to your expectations uh overnight and it's not about your business popping overnight it's not about it's not about quick quick fast and consistent it's i mean you can be consistent don't get me wrong you can be consistent but it's not going to be like just it's, it's only up from here i mean come on you need downtime you need times to uh, mess up and then you need to get back on your feet and do it 10 times better than the last time you need to fail in order to succeed like you can't just skip the failing part or like Beat yourself up every time you fail and just stick in that mentality. Four of Cups. You can't just 
sulk there and just be like, I'm so mad. I'm so pessimistic. I'm so irritated. Things are not working out. I'm so irritated. Things are not perfect. If things are not perfect, try to make it perfect then. But also take a moment to realize that perfection doesn't even exist. So what are you really striving for? Don't let yourself suck the the life out of your life. Like don't don't let it do that. Whatever it is, it's going to be okay. Whatever it is, it's going to be fine, Virgo. You don't have to be so fired up. You can channel that fire into something else. We're going to end the reading with some angel messages, so just hold on a minute, okay? Hold on a minute. We're just going to get a bit more information of Let's see um, who's coming towards Virgo this um, this April. Who is we're gonna see who's coming towards you, Virgo? Um, you know what are they like? What are their intentions? Things of the sort. So who's coming towards Virgo this April? Who is coming towards Virgo this April? You could be dealing with a. Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo. But um, I, I'm really seeing like there, there's this motherly figure or this this water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, most likely Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with this person. They could be giving you issues. They could be just like not showing empathy towards you, not trying to understand what you're going through, uh, just kind of being emotionally distant. And I'm seeing a lot of distance. Like you are definitely um, far away from someone else. Okay, um, so I asked who was coming your way, Virgo, and then we got the Nine of Wands in reverse. We got the uh, Devil card. What is this about, Virgo? What is this about? I just said that you were tired of carrying the burden and then you were going to free yourself. So why am I seeing now a tie to the Devil? Why am I seeing that? And then we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. If you are thinking about letting go of that toxic person, that toxic relationship, do it. It's not about how long you guys have been together. It's about the quality of the relationship. And you know quality, Virgo. Like, out of all the signs in the zodiac, you, you know quality. You have taste. So what, why are you out here not living up to that, your, your list of do's and don'ts? Your pickiness, like why are you not applying the pickiness to your love life? That doesn't serve you. That just leaves you in like bum situations with bum people. So whoever is like coming back or trying to be back in your life or whoever is surrounding you that is this negative energy, this energy of just no mental clarity. Like they probably like... I don't think they can handle you, Virgo. I think that they have issues opening up to you. Or maybe you think that you can fix them. And that's why you're obsessed. Maybe that's why you're obsessed and you're always going to be there every time they, they hit you up. You may feel as though the person coming in, there's something about them that is seductive. There's something about them that you can't put your finger on. And I'm feeling like they, there's just a sense of mystery surrounding them. Even if you've known them for a long time, I don't think you even really know them. Like, I think that they hold back a lot of information or they just hold back emotionally. And then that just gets you kind of hooked. It kind of gets you intrigued because it's like, oh, like maybe there's someone, uh, there's a broken person like behind this that needs me to fix them. Like you're seeing them as like this like scared little shy like, person that doesn't really have a sense of direction like you know like oh I'm timid like like I won't treat you right but I don't know any better like I need your help Virgo make yourself useful and cater to yourself first how about that how about we do that all right pulling these cards are making me mad Virgo I'll pull like a last few like last few cards for your love life, and then we're just going to go into the angel messages because the angels are going to know what to say, and I'm not going to know what to say, so we're just going to keep it pushing. All right, so more cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, in terms of love. Next. 
next couple of weeks recipe. Energy signing building. Pessimistic mindset. Stop. It's 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 it's, it's keeping you poor. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo placements. Yeah, we got the Judgment card, we got the King of Pentacles, so I'm definitely seeing, like, the energy I'm seeing here. I've seen a bit of Scorpio at the beginning, now I'm really seeing Capricorn, you're dealing with an Earth sign, uh, specifically Capricorn, okay? Specifically Capricorn, or you're dealing with a Leo, or you are a Leo Capricorn, okay, whatever. So, um... The advice here, the advice here for you when it comes to love this month is strength. The advice here is self-respect, self-love. It's um, looking out for yourself before you look out for everyone else. Because guess what, Virgo? You are not going to be as useful as you want to be um, if you are not taking care of yourself first. Okay? So it's like a doctor can't help anyone if the doctor is sick. You know, it's just kind of like that. Um... If you prioritize your mental space, like your, yeah, if you prioritize your mental space, you will start to feel a bit better. If you dedicate a few minutes um, as soon as you wake up to not be on your phone, to not do any of that, and not, you know, if you dedicate just a few minutes every single day, I'm talking five minutes, ten minutes, we're in quarantine, so I'll say ten minutes, but it could be five Okay, but if you just dedicated a bit of your time every morning towards doing one small ass thing, it could be small AF, it could be, you know, it could be pulling out your yoga mat and doing a few positions, but it could also just be, you know, washing your face or just brushing your teeth, like little simple things and you just do it with the intention of taking care of yourself, your mind, body and spirit, attending to the inner child, attending to what needs to be attended to, attending to something that no one else can give you and do for you. It's time to bring, to speak life back into your life and bring abundance and just a sense of security, a sense of stability, a sense of having your shit together. It's not about actually having your shit together, but it's about working every day towards having your shit together and not freaking out because you're gonna have your shit together you know what i'm saying like not everything it has to be so stressful virgo okay let's see what your angels have to say they're saying heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They're saying that you are avoiding the difficult conversations with different people, with certain people in your life. For instance, this ex or this like Capricorn, this whatever the situation is, trying to come back to you, you know it's toxic, right? You know it's toxic. So let them know. Let them know straight up. Be honest. Don't be scared to hurt anyone's feelings. Be, be honest. We got the true love card, okay? That's what you have to focus on in April. True, real ass love. True love. Not superficial love. Not just love that is just out of convenience. Not just love that, that, that has codependency issues attached to it. Um, a love where you don't really feel secure, where, where someone is controlling, whether it's bringing out your controlling side or whether, you know, you are cross-watching, you're, you're dating a Virgo and you're watching this video and you're the controlling one. Someone needs to stop trying to control the situation and trying to control their partner. It's time to focus on true love. True love does not force your hand. That's what you got to think about, Virgo. This is a romance of a lifetime. So also don't mess up what you already have. Um, let's say that you are single right now. You're getting to know someone, but you're kind of like, you know what, I really enjoy my bachelor life right now. I'm really enjoying my single life, my hot girl summer, even though we're quarantined and it's not summer. Um, maybe you're just enjoying that so much that you don't really want to give this person a chance. Well, I'm seeing that maybe you should rethink things through because I'm seeing true love and this, this may just be the romance of a lifetime. So you never know. Um, but as you are open and you discuss your feelings with one another and you get to know each other, then you'll be more, you know, more sure of like, oh, like, yeah, we're actually like really compatible. Like they're really cool. Like I want to give them a chance. Oh, what's this card? Didn't I not talk about codependency earlier? I'm pretty sure the devil card came up in your reading and I was telling you to stop with the codependency issues. Stop with the controlling issues. Codependency. It's not just about drugs and alcohol and not being able to, you know, consume, risk, like, consume wisely. 
It's not about that. It's about trying to attract situations where you can control your partner or someone can control you. It's attracting circumstances and dynamics that make you, that force you to numb your heart and force you to just completely ignore what's actually bothering you, what's actually the issue at hand. You're using other things. It could be people. It could be situations. It, it could be drugs and alcohol, for example. There's different things happening that you are trying to use to escape. Let's not forget that Virgo's sister sign, so your polar opposite, is Pisces. Pisces is the dreamer of the zodiac. Pisces is compassion and love and empathy. And Pisces is also drugs. Pisces is a subconscious mind. Pisces is that dreamlike state where nothing really makes sense, but it all goes together. That's what Pisces is. And Pisces often has boundary issues because Pisces doesn't really know how to set boundaries. Pisces wants to be there for everyone. And Pisces believes in true love and equality and just like everyone just being together in harmony. However, Virgo, you have the same tendencies that Pisces has. You know, you're, you're still sisters. So you have this tendency to want to be there for everyone, to make sure that they are set, either as financially, they have everything they need, they are fed, like you cater to other people all the time. And that causes you to deflect on your own issues because then you don't have to worry about yourself if you're worried about everyone else. That's a form of codependency. Then we have the honeymoon card. Enjoy this time of quarantine. I know things are hectic. I know things are chaotic. I know things are scary and things are, are, we don't know what's going to happen. And I know that that can be scary. But I'm telling you right now, you don't need to worry. Your angels are with you right now. They are helping you guide you. They're helping you stay on track. They're helping you stay safe, uh, stay safe and stay healthy during this time. They're saying it's honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss. Enjoy the gift of maybe some of you um, get to work home from now on you know so enjoy that aspect of it or maybe you have less hours at work yes that may affect your your um your bill your pay your pay at the end of the day of course but at the same time if you you get to enjoy more time at home or more time with your family or you know like there's just still a lot of things to be grateful for and that's all i'm saying i'm not here to minimize anyone's issues whatsoever i'm saying that there's always something to smile about no matter how tough no matter how crazy, no matter how chaotic, no matter how uncertain things are, there's always, always something for you to smile about and to feel positive about, okay? And that's what the honeymoon card is here to remind you. It just lets you know that your love life could really benefit from you enjoying the bliss, enjoying, you know, taking the time to smell the roses and making the best out of your experience right now, okay? So that's your message for today, Virgo. Um, I appreciate all of you who like, comment, share, subscribe. Everything just, it just means a lot, okay? So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, subscribe. I'm going to be posting videos, at least like one video a day for the whole week. So stay tuned. I could be posting, you know, your rising sign next, okay? Love you guys. Talk to you soon.